Hello trainers, Ganeto here and Aurorus was the main Pokemon that you voted for my next video about the best teams that I should focus on for the Great League of Holiday Cup. We are having here the Mantis up on the lead Lurantis, at the back we have Aurorus of course in combination with Altaria. Altaria is gonna pair up well with Aurorus mainly because of that cover to the fighters and those fighters are gonna be the Obstagoon and the, uh, the uh, Vigoroth that you want to focus on. So Altaria can cover those two effectively while it can protect you from some various uh, grass types Especially that uh, Lurandis that your opponent might have We're gonna use Lurandis up on the lead with a lot of success Especially with the Leaf Plate and Super Power The main core breaker of this line is gonna be Aboma Snow And you might be wondering, okay Ganeto, I got Meteor Beam, I got Sky Attack and I got uh, Super Power I can definitely beat down this Pokemon Well, you can, but when Shields are up, they can definitely outspeed with that weather ball and weather ball can almost one shot the whole Altaria can almost one shot the whole uh, Lurandis and of course the energy ball can be deadly for that Aurorus matchup other than that though I think you're gonna be just fine and we're looking at a pretty solid team I really like uh, the synergy between those picks not only Altaria can protect uh, that Aurorus from the fighters but also Lurandis can do that because remember that you always have access not only to Leaf Blade but also the super power dealing super effective damage to the obstacle double super effective there and single super effective to that Vigroth matchup. We're looking at a team that can go pretty well even against the safe options which is gonna be considered uh, as the main key to this meta so you're gonna use a team that uh, will definitely go ahead and destroy down all those safe meta options. Also Aurorus is gonna be a top meta Pokemon that we're gonna analyze in a while as well. Now we're looking at a line that I believe will be a little bit troubled with certain threats but it can go pretty strong against some other. So we're having up in front that Gliscor which is taking a lot of damage from the ice moves. However at the back we have two Pokemon that can definitely deal with ice Pokemon but also have coverage against the meta. Aurorus once again this time as a closer and of course we have the safe switch of this line the Obstagoon. So Obstagoon is gonna be used mainly as a safe switch to draw out the that Vigoroth the opponent has so that Yonarorus can have a much better outcome for the rest of the battle sweeping the entire team especially with that Metro Beam giving you that extra attack, attack boost that you need for those Powder Snows and Weather Balls to do more damage than usual. Up on the lead though we are using that Gliscor with a lot of uh, a neutral coverage against the meta but it loses pretty much straight away to those Ice types. Other than that you can still go with that Pokemon you can see here that even against the Area. If you can get the boost you still have a win con so that's why I like this Pokemon It can spam that Night Slash with a new wing attack and of course it will get you there to those back to back moves pretty fast And if you can get the boost only once you're gonna be on a very good spot If you do not get the boost here well you are definitely gonna get it on your second try with Obstagoon at the back Which is gonna be the safe switch by the way Core breaker of this line of course the Lantern because it can simply destroy it down with Water Gun that Gliscor but the earthquake can absolutely destroy it down in return. You have a very good matchup uh, with uh, Obstagoon against Lantern but they also do so it is kind of, a, uh, of an even uh, scenario there and of course the water gun is gonna do super effective damage to that uh, uh, poor Aurorus while uh, you cannot tank a surf while they can tank a pure uh, meter beam and still survive. Other than that though you're gonna be just fine and of course you're gonna go pretty strong against the enemy trainers. Heading into the next one now and we're having a line that is gonna work pretty well against the enemy but it's kinda glassy so let's start off from Galvantula because it is gonna lead the team it has access to land to debuff the enemy and of course discharge to go pretty neutral against anything you have discharge for the flyers but also as you can see here it is gonna help us a lot against this matchup with Aurorus and of course after the discharge we are gonna be on a very good spot with Galvantula at the back we have Aurorus of our own as a safe switch for this team but we have already talked a lot about this Pokemon. Now let's focus a little bit on Meganium which is gonna be used as a closer. So here you do not want to have Earthquake most of the times you need to have Return because for that coverage against the Flyers which are gonna be pretty much everywhere and Return is gonna help you with that. Van Whip is gonna get you there fairly fast and of course whenever you are not gonna use Return Frenzy Plant is gonna be your main way to go. Return though is gonna be an amazing move however you're gonna use it only here because on the regular uh, open grade 
right click you are not gonna use return so spend your resources uh, resourcefully as I like to say because uh, Meganium is gonna be a very nice inve investment if you want to use one for great leak overall core breaker of this line is gonna be just another Aurorus because as you can see it can work pretty well against Michael Panzula here especially with that Metro Beam at the back with that uh, Meganium and uh, for our sake well we only have that uh, Aurorus of our own to encounter that Aurorus of the enemy so definitely core breaker not that much of a big a big threat because still a Frezzy plant can do the work but yeah here is all you have to know about this line and how to win with it. Final one trainers and we are having the Aurorus up on the lead. Aurorus is after all the MVP and the main star of this video because all those teams are gonna be around this Pokemon but you are seeing that we're gonna use it with a lot of success on a lot of different team comms. One of those team comms are gonna be with Altaria and uh, it makes no surprise to anyone as to why we're seeing Altaria once again here on that final team composition. Altaria pairs very well with Aurorus as we have already said on the start of the video mainly because of those fighters and the grass coverage. As a safe switch for this line we're gonna have Vigoroth because Vigoroth is one of the best Pokemon that you can use as a safe switch on the whole Great League so yeah it makes no surprise once again as to why we're seeing a Pokemon like this here on that final team comp with a very strong core on the faces of the Aurorus and uh, the Altaria. Core breaker of this line of course the Alola Graveler because uh, its uh, moveset is just walling down every single Pokemon from this uh, team and of course the Stone Edge can still thread down that uh, uh, Vigoroth flipping around this very good matchup for Vigoroth but yeah Stone Edge really does a lot of damage. So that's all trainers thank you for watching thank you for staying till the end just be sure to leave a huge like before you go subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and write down in the comment section what the next Pokemon shall be for me to showcase on those uh, best team series for Great League Holiday Cup. Till the next time trainers take care everyone.